Hello, it's Carol back again. Today I am doing, since it's so rainy outside, I wanted to do a little kind of holiday glowy look. Um, I'm going on holiday in a week today myself, so I'm really excited. Just wanted to do something that was kind of quick, easy, quite fun. You could wear this at night and holiday. Got some nice shimmery lips, got some nice shimmery eyes, if you can see that there. Yeah, we've got all shimmery lips, we've got a great glow going on. I'll tell you all about how I got that glow um, as we're going through. Obviously all the products, which is the most important thing for me, are all cruelty free. Some are vegan products. Um, all the companies featured I have reached out to and rather than just um, take another company's word for it that they're cruelty free, I've reached out to and I have you know, emails back from all companies saying that they are cruelty free companies um, so I have researched every single brand that I feature on this um, I'll list all the products on my video that I use if you've got any questions please feel free to give me a wee email, give me a wee message, whatever um, and I'll try and get back to you and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this look and if you want to see how I got it, please keep on watching. Thank you! Okay, so all I've done is I've moisturised and I've already primed my face for that. I have used the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer, which is really good if you've got large pores like I do. I've also used a little touch of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This gives you a lovely dewy finish. What I'm going to do now is go in with these foundation sticks. These are from Iconic London. A um, really, really fast way of doing your foundation. We've got Iconic 3, uh, which is a darker colour, and Iconic 2.2, which is a bit lighter. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and I'm going to slightly contour using these two colours just um, for quickness. We save a bit of time. So the lighter colour, I am just going to draw lines with that one. <coughs> And now I'm going to take the slightly darker shade. And just the places that you would normally contour. It's going to go over with that. And I am just going to go ahead and take my... I'm just going to go ahead and take my damp beauty blender and just go and blend that straight in. These foundations are really, really creamy. These sticks, they blend super easily. Um, and they do give you a lovely kind of velvety, almost matte finish. I have been using these a lot lately just for quickness. Um, I really like them. They blend out really well as well. Okay, so once you're happy and you've got everything blended the way you like it, I'm just going to go in with the Old Faithful Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And this is in the shade Light. And I am just going to, under my eyes, the usual places. Doing the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, on my chin and a little bit on my forehead as well. I'm just going to go back in with the beauty blender and just blend that in, just bouncing that right onto the skin. Oh, i got hair in my face. I like to just go over the sides of my nose as well, they can leave a bit of redness there and just blend the forehead. Make sure everything is blended together well. I'll just use whatever products left over on my eyelids. So I'm now going to go ahead and just bake this set everything. So for that I am going to use my favourite RCMA No Colour Powder. And then I'm just going, going to go in with a damp beauty blender, dip that right into the product and take that right under my eyes. Out of my eye. And the same again on this side. And the bridge of my nose. Bacon really, really helps with um, my oiliness. Uh, I do get really bad oil kind of around the nose, chin and the 
top of my forehead so this really helps with that. And just underneath where I put the contour. is still on our face I'm going to go in with my favourite contour palette which is the Kat Von D shade and light palette as you can see I've hit pan on a couple of these but I am not going to be using my new one until I'm completely finished um, the best brush I find for contour is the Kat Von D shade and light brush which comes with its own little coffin case I showed you this one before, double ended contour brush, so for the darker shades I'm going to go in with the angle brush, makes it a little bit easier to tap off any excess and just starting right in, start bringing that down. Obviously the contrast between this will um, look a lot more severe than what it will once we take that uh, take the baking powder off so don't worry and think oh my god. Uh, we can blend that all in together more and I'm just going to bring this up a little bit and go ahead and the same on the other side and I'm just going to do right in at the hairline on the forehead And what I'm going to do is switch over to a smaller brush. Today I'm going to use the Real Techniques. This is the pointy foundation brush. And we're just going to use that same, the lightest colour on the Cat Bondi palette, which is Subconscious. And I'm just going to go straight down the nose here. And you can take that up right to the eyebrow socket there. Just a little bit under the jawline as well. Just the one chin will do today. Just the one. Okay, so that is the contour done. I'm going to take my Kat Von D um, number 20 brush and just brush off um, all the baking powder that I've got on. So just one sweeping motions here just to get that all off. And I'm going to go in now with the light shades from the Kat Von D palette. I like to just mix these two together. I'm going to take that down the bridge of my nose. Right up onto my forehead. And just areas you know, so that you want to bring a bit of light to. Okay, so that is the contour done on my face. I'm going to go in with a little bit of blusher. I'm going to take another Real Techniques brush. This is their contour brush, but I use it for blusher. And I'm going to go back in with my little favourite NARS blusher. And just go above the contour there. And don't forget to add our Ackley Bridge account on Snapchat to meet Naz, Missy, Corey and more ahead of the next Wednesday's launch pack. Okay, so all we've got to do left to the face at the moment is highlight, but I like to leave the best for last. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm going to do an eyeshadow look, but I'm just going to do one side, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I've done that side, and we'll do the other one. Thank you. Okay, so I have got one eye done. This is the look that we're going to go in for today. It's just a kind of fun, um, shimmery kind of, I guess, holiday look, since I'm getting in the holiday mood for going away next week. Sorry to rub that in. Um, so I've, as you can see, uh, hallelujah, I do not have winged eyeliner today. I tend not to wear it when I'm wearing um, false lashes, other than the fact that I would just make a complete mess of it. But um, yeah, so I've got my falsies on, colours on. To you, get this look today, I use the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette, which is really, it was, this thing was my first ever Tarte palette. I absolutely loved it, I got it from Sephora. Some really, really pretty colours in this one, very kind of nudie colours as well. You can do a lot of looks with this. There are one, two, three shimmer colours and the rest are all mattes. So first of all, I'm going to go back in with my trusted Morphe Vegan brushes. I'm going to go in with the largest brush out of that and I'm going to go in with this kind of white colour, which is Charmer. 
I read to that. I'm just going to go over the entire lid. Just to create a nice base there. I'm then going to go in with a mixture of the colours Smarty Pants and Jet Setter. Again, just sticking with this brush and we're just going to concentrate on the crease with this. Our world. Our very own star. So again, windscreen wiper motions, you know how it goes. Switch over to the next brush down um, and I'm going to go back in with Jet Setter again. And again, just keeping that right in at the crease. You can afford to bring it down onto the lid a little bit. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go on the jet setter and I'm just going to start on the lower lash line. Start smoking that out. Came quite down on the lower lash line on this side just because I don't have any liner on. Um, just wanted to kind of give the illusion still of really kind of striking eyes. And now I'm going to go in with this colour here, which is Rebel. And again, just going to stick to the kind of outer crease here. And bring that down on the lid as well. And start taking that down underneath the eye. I'm going to get my big brush and just go and blend all this together. I'm going to take a little bit more of the Smarty Pants colour just to blend this in. Okay, I'm now going to go in with my finger and take this colour here which is one of the shimmers. This is Rocket so I get a good amount of that on and I'm just going to pack that all around the lid. I uh, just really pack that on and then I'm going to go in with Funny Girl and just pack that on more towards the front of the lid. It's a really nice kind of shimmery colour, it's just in the end of it there. Really nice shimmers off these. Okay, and then I'm going to take the tiniest little brush that I've got and go in with the Funny Girl again and just do right in the inner corner. that one a little bit. Get that really kind of drawing your attention. Don't be afraid just to take that down a little bit as well. Okay, so we're now going to go in and apply the lashes. Uh, I am using the, that in so I can show you, the Ardell, I'll oh, just zoom you back out, sorry. The Ardell Natural Multipack Demi Wispies in Black. Now what I do with these is, as you can see I've already got one on. Um, <clears throat> I always have to cut them because my eyes are on the smaller side. Cut them not from the inside section but from the outside section always. Because um, you still want to have that nice natural kind of flare. Um, just try and make sure that you cut them the same size. Which I never always do. Um, just going to glue these up. Okay, so once we've given that a good old waft of it, um, we're just going to go ahead and place that onto the eye. Oh shit, no, I forgot mascara. Uh, okay, so I'm <laughs> going to put a little bit, a little layer of my favourite Urban Decay Pro version mascara on first. That's better. Now I'm going to go in with my lashes. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and place this on. Hello Elvis! Hello! We're just going to go ahead and place this straight onto the eye. I'll try and not stick it on my dog. Right Elvie? Not be jumping on mummy when she's got tweezers next to her eye. Thank you. And just a wee bit of jiggery pokery later. They're on! 
you saw about our son. Is a small town in here and I'm thanks Elvis. Got a dog here and my eyelashes. Okay, so lashes on. Just if you need to do a wee bit of jiggery pokery to get them to sit properly, which I always need to do. Lashes on, and now I'm just going to go ahead and do the bottom. Okay, so that is the eye look done. This is just meant to be a kind of fun holiday going out at night. You got, you know, take me there now, take me there now. Um, okay, so now to complement the eyes, we're going to go in and do a shimmery lip, I think. To prep my lips, I'm going to go back in with my pixie skin lip nourishing. As you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got like a little... See if I can get it to focus in on that. It's got like a little almost nipply tip. Roy. So we're just going to go ahead and squeeze the product out onto our lips. And I'm just going to rub that right in. Okay, so my lips are prepped. I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Everlasting Lip Liner um, and I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with this Okay, so my lips are now drawn I am going to go ahead with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ludwig and I'm just going to fill that in Okay, now because this is a holiday makeup, kind of quick and easy, let's get out a nice and shimmery video. I am then going to go in on top of that. Now, this is a really lovely product. It is the. <sighs> give me the trouble if I'm saying it wrong. Your Cosmetics. Um, and it is in the shade Skinny Dip. Really, really nice packaging. Uh, lovely shimmery. Um, colour here and I'm just going to go over this now and that is the lipstick done you can see it gives you a lovely little sheen to your lips so really all that's missing ah, is some bling bling I'm going to go in with the iconic London illuminator drop now this is an absolutely fantastic product um, what we do is just put a few drops on my hand uh, as you can see the shine of this BAM so I've put the Iconic London Illuminator drops on my hand but I'm in my beauty blender and just go right up here can you see that glow yes the glow of these is insane. I know that they've got new colours out now. They've got a darker colour um, and they've got one for paler skin. Obviously, I probably will try the one for slightly paler skin in case you haven't noticed. And the glow of these is unreal. Now I'm just going to use what's there and just go on my nose and I'm just going to take a little tap. Tap, 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 tap. You can go up above your eyebrows should you want to as well. This is a glowy holiday. Let's have some fun. Look, why so serious all the time? And there we go. Fix that space bar. And that is the look that we're going for today. Just a whole lot of fun. Nice shimmery, glittery look. Got some glitter lips on, got some glittery, shimmery eyes. We've got the iconic glow. And I'm just going to set this all, go back in with the Pixie Skin Treats Makeup Fixing Mist um, and just spray it everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so that is the finished look for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, as always, please let me know. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.